Sorry, guys. My computer just totally crashed. <laughs> but I'm back. Um, so hopefully, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. But OK, we're doing a, a challenging sun salutation B. So start in your Tadasana and find your mountain pose. Inhale to chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, chaturanga, or lower, your lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, round that left heel. And inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands down, find your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra. And if you want more challenge, you can come back to chaturanga, push to plank, and then find your downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, ground your right heel. Inhale and reach high. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale to your heart opener. And maybe add the challenge back to chaturanga through plank. Downward facing dog, child's pose, table, puppy pose. Collect your breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, find some buoyancy. Make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into your knees. Inhale, root katasana. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, so now we're just gonna move for the next about eight minutes, 10 minutes. I really want this to be movement with your breath and you choose your own adventure, okay? Do what feels good in your body and let this be a moving meditation. Challenge yourself the way you need to, support yourself the way you need to and really connect to that ujjayi breath. And you can think of that truth Right, that your breath is always chanting the name of God. Right, this can be a full body prayer. So as you're ready, just find your place. You have options. Those lunging salutations, um, just the straight up sun salutation A, or adding in more things with that sun salutation B. So I just invite you to begin right now.
wherever you are. See if you can find a place to really drop in and rest and collect your breath. Maybe that's a child's pose. It could be um, maybe resting forehead on the seat of a chair, your couch. in a place where you can really just kind of drop in and feel your breath. And feel your heartbeat, feel the warmth in your body. Just take one more breath there. And then go ahead and sit back up. And as we went through those variations, um, does anyone have any questions? Did you notice how well that warms up your body? Were you able to feel like you could really like find a moving meditation, remember the things, all the, all the things. So I'm sure that I was mixing up the combination of things. I always have a hard time keeping where I'm supposed to be. Um, one thing that I realized as I was going through it this time, um, when I was jumping forward and back, the importance of breathing out when we, I mean, when we, that's how we find our transverse abdominus. That's how you always cue us to find it. So when I'm jumping forward and back, if I'm breathing out really hard, then that helps to keep things where they're supposed to be. Yeah, it's yeah. really important, especially if you're doing the jump back to chaturanga. It's something that I don't do very often. It's a, it's a lot on your shoulders and it's a lot of torque. For me, it's been, it was always a lot of torque on my pelvis. And I think that doing it a lot for so many years without a whole lot of awareness is one of the things that really created my SI joint problems. Mm -hmm. But when you exhale here, like it's just this, you're a ball, right? And, and, you're, and you're moving, you just think of everything coming from your core. So your heart's coming forward and you just shoot those legs back. And when you have that firmness here, you don't get the torque in your pelvis or the crazy stuff in your shoulders. But it's really important that you come back with bent elbows. You don't jump back into a straight plank because that's just too hard on your joints. Right, and you, so you have some buoyancy and some cushion and support through your center. So yeah, that's, and that exhale, right? That's where you find it. So that's really important. Yeah, any other thoughts? Was anyone able to kind of feel like they got into a rhythm of what feel, felt good in their body? I did. I really thought it was fun to be able to kind of figure out what I needed. Yeah. And, and your body gets warm doing that, doesn't it? I mean, are you guys sweaty? Jeannie's like, yes. <laughs> turn up the AC. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sweaty. <laughs> but you know, you can, you can ramp it up, you can just go slow, right? But you can kind of really get into the rhythm of it. And it's really moving your body in all the directions it needs to. If you throw a side bend in there every once in a while, then you really get your spine in all the directions. Any other thoughts or questions? All 
All right, how are we doing on time? We've got two minutes. Let's go through a really um, simple lungy one and we'll lay on our backs for a minute to, to end. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale and reach high. And this time really soften your knees and let yourself fold and hang. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. And then actually, we're just going to step back into a plank and then lower hands and knees so you're on the table and do a few rounds of cat and cow here. And then pause that, just thread your right arm under and find a twisted child here. Move your right shoulder, right side of your head to the floor. You can even find a half bind with that left arm, bring your back of your left hand to your right outer hip if that feels good. And then switch sides. Just unwind the other way. Want that half bind. And release, just cross your ankles underneath you. Sit back, swing your legs out in front of you. Scoot your bum to the middle of your mat. Lay yourself down. We want a round of bridge here or just hugging your knees, finding a happy baby. Do whatever it is that you feel like you need. And then find a way to rest. You could rest your legs up on your couch or a chair. Bring the soles of feet together. Let your knees go wide, legs long. And just bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And just feel your body breathe. This breath of life. yourself sit with how amazing it is to be alive. How amazing it is that your body knows what to do, that you can move and breathe and see and hear. That you can relax into the floor and just feel the weight of your body as you let go. And your connection with the divine is just a breath away. Constant. And there, whether you are paying attention to it or not, nourishing and life giving. And feel free if you want to just stay and relax for a while. Do. Thank you so much for playing some salutations with me today. Um, I hope you have a great week. We're starting July on Wednesday. So that will be crazy. It's a new month, new summer. So see you soon. Namaste.